In this lesson, we will look at solving congruences. So a linear congruence um, is in the form AX equal B mod M. So we're looking at um, modular division. And what we haven't seen up to this point is we haven't seen a value A in front of our expression. So we're saying mod M, A and B are integers, and X is the variable. And to solve this, essentially what I'm looking for is all of the X's that will satisfy the congruence. And so what I want to do, just like in a normal equation, if I said, you know, 2X equals 8, we would be solving to find that X is 4, and that would be the only X that satisfies the equation. What I'm looking for is essentially to try to eliminate the A, because then I would be left with you know, x equal b mod m, and we know how to handle that situation. So in order to eliminate the a, we must learn how to find the inverse of a mod m. So what is the inverse of a, or I should have said what is the inverse of a mod m? Well, if a and m are relatively prime integers, so what does that mean? Relatively prime means that a and m don't have any factors in common, um, and m is greater than 1, then a unique inverse of a mod m exists and is denoted with a bar. So that would be the inverse of a, and the inverse of a is going to be less than m, and if I took a times the inverse of a, I should get 1 mod m. So what does this mean? Well, if I'm dealing with some small numbers, like say a is 3 and m is 5, then I can just say, well, 3 times what is going to give me a remainder of 1. That's exactly what I'm looking for, mod 5. So essentially I'm saying, if I divide by 5, so 5 times what would give me that remainder of 1? And so here I can see, well, if I took 5 times, uh, if I took 5 times 1, 5 times 1 would be 5, plus 1 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I know that the inverse of A in this case is 2. I could have also done that with a different number. So I could say 3 times what? And what if I said 5 times 2 plus 1? Well, 5 times 2 plus 1 is 11, and 3 doesn't go into 11, so that's not going to work. And so I could find other values that do, in fact, work. Let's say 3 times, I'm going to cross this one off, 3 times what equals 5 times 3 plus 1? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, so that one's not going to work. I could look at 5 times 4, and 5 times 4 plus 1 is 20 plus 1, or 21, and that one does work, so 3 times 7. So I can also say that an inverse of A is 7, but just as we did before, what I'm looking for is that smallest one, um, because 7 and 2 are the same mod 5, or equivalent mod 5. So let's take a look at an example um, using the Euclidean algorithm and linear combinations. And this should look super familiar to us because we've done this several times. But the first thing that I need to do is I need to show that the GCD, the greatest common divisor of 13, which is my A, and 37 has to be 1. Now, why does that have to be true? Because in our definition, we had said that the two values must be relatively prime, which means their greatest common divisor needs to be 1. So how can I show that? I can show that using Euclidean's algorithm. So 37 equals 13 times 2, which is 26, plus 11. And then 13 equals 11 times 1, 
plus 2, and then 11 equals 2 times 5 plus 1, and 2 equals 1 times 2 plus 0. And so therefore, I have determined that it is in fact 1. So that is the first step. Show that they are relatively prime. Now we're going to do just as we did before. So we're going to start backwards and work our way through. So again, I can write this as 1 equals 11 minus, sorry, 1 times 11 minus 2 times 5, or I guess I should write 5 times 2 since I'll be replacing the 2, and then 2 equals 1 times 13 minus 1 times 11, and then 11 equals 1 times 37 minus 2 times 13. And again, I'm going to do this as I did before, just doing a lot of substitution. And so I'm going to start out with 1 equals. So again, 1 equals, and I'm going to write 1 times 11 minus 5, and instead of 2, I'm writing what 2 is equivalent to using this. And again, I'm just interested in how many groups of each thing I have. So I'm going to take negative 5 times 1. That gives me negative 5 groups of 13. And negative 5 times negative 1 gives me positive 5 plus 1, which gives me positive 6 groups of 11. And then I'm going to continue the process. So I still have 1 equals, and I have negative 5 times 13 plus 6 times what is equivalent to 11, which is 1 times 37 minus 2 times 13. And then I'm going to simplify. So again, 6 times 1 is 6. So I have 6 groups of 37. And then I take 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12. 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12, plus negative 5 is negative 17. So I get plus negative 17 groups of 13. So how has this really helped us? Because we've done all of this before, right? So what we have right now, I'm just going to recopy up here. I have 1 equals, again 1 because that was the 1 here, 1 equals 6 times 37 plus negative 17 times 13. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at a mod 37. And if I'm looking at mod 37, then I know that 37 and any multiple of 37 is actually equal to 0. So I have 1 equals 6 times 0 plus negative 17 times 13. And that tells me that if I do some reduction, that 1 is equal to negative 17 times 13. Um, I'm sorry, I should have specified 1 in mod 37 is equal to negative 17 times 13. So what does that tell me? That tells me that negative 17 is an inverse. So we said that we had to solve this by finding an inverse, and that is in fact what I have done. So how does that help me? What is negative 17 going to do for me? Well, I have the equation 13x equals 6 mod 37. And I know that an inverse means that if I take that inverse 
times 13, I'm going to get 1. So let's say I take negative 17 um, multiplied on each side. So here I'm going to take times negative 17, and here obviously I'm going to take the 6 times negative 17. So the negative 17 and the 13 are inverses, and therefore it's just going to give me x, and that's what I wanted, x equals. So what do I have on the right side? Well, 6 times negative 17 is negative 102, and again, I want to look at that mod 37. And so what is negative 102 mod 37? It is congruent to 9 mod 37 because, of course, we're worried about whatever mod we were in at the beginning, which means that I have a solution of 9. And other solutions would be 9 plus 37, which is 46, and 46 plus 37, because, again, we're just in mods, and mods is a remainder, so 46 plus 37 equals 83, and so on and so on.